we'll see. Okay. Sorry, everyone who's just getting on the recording. <laughs> okay. So reels, we want to make sure that we are capitalizing on them because it'll get you in crazy, crazy views and eyes on your profile. So with that being said, if you are somebody, raise your hand if you've ever watched reels, like just kind of scrolled up watching reels. How many of you have ever laughed at a reel? <laughs> My favorite reels are the funny ones. Hence why I try to make funny ones for the most part. Um, okay, this is good. So think of all those people. Some of them you probably saw. I bet you their following went up like thousands. If you saw one that was like up front, like one of the first reels you ever saw. I'm like, let's just pull it up right now. Let's see what, let's see what comes up first. Let's just, let's take a peeky poo. Oh, Kim's picture is the first one on here. Here we go. What's happening? No one knows. No one has any freaking clue. And it's hilarious. The man is not wearing a shirt and he's roller skating. Like no one expected that. That's cool. Let's scroll up a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. I expect all of you guys to replicate this exactly as it is. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. There's so many different ones. We all think they're so funny. So what I'm going to tell you, we're going to spend the first 10 minutes. Okay. So when we're watching reels, let me, let me reel this in. A, let me reel it in a little bit. <laughs> okay. So we're going to reel it in a little bit. What I want you to do is spending the first, I'm going to give you like five to seven minutes to take some time. And I want you to come up and write down three real ideas. Now, the types of ideas you can come up with, you can literally just pull up your reels. Now, we are not getting lost in the rabbit hole, guys. This needs to be done in five to 10 minutes, five to seven minutes, okay? You find three reels. Maybe you've already saved the audios. If you do not know how to do that, you go down here, the very bottom, okay? You'll click on the audio, okay? Can you see this? And then there's a save audio option. See that? And then you'll click it. Then, so save audio. Then you'll go over here, back to home. This is how I get to reels. You swipe, oh, that's not swiping. You swipe over like you're gonna do a story down here. You'll click on reels. Where am I? No one knows, this is so hard to do. Okay, here's reels. I wanna make a reel now. Okay, you'll go here, you'll go to audio. I don't know if I can, here we go. See the little musical note? Click on audio. Wow, this is really hard, guys. Up here at the top, you'll go to saved and then you'll find there it is then you'll click it now you have that so then i don't know what this audio is but you're like okay <laughs> i don't know but you just hold it down you can do the like you can do all the same stuff you can do with your stories okay you can edit it however you want so what i want you to do is basically if you don't already have three audios saved that you plan to use for reels moving forward i want you to go find three audios for your reels and save them so that way you can make those later that's all we're going to do we're writing down three real ideas if you have originals okay or we're saving three audios for your reels this is basically us pre-planning to make reels okay i'm going to mute myself if you have questions unmute yourself and holler at your girl also Thank you, Carolyn. Nirvana for life. Okay.
All right, gangsters. Did we get three real ideas written down or three audios or reels themselves saved? Give me a big fat nod. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I think I saw one or two, a couple people probably hopped on a little. Oh, Mary Jane. Okay. I had a cool call. Basically what we did is we just went and we picked up three real ideas or saved three audios or wrote down three ideas for reels. We just spent like five to seven minutes just kind of doing that. So from here, you guys, this is the biggest thing. Who here has ever filmed a freaking reel? Who here recognizes, holy cow, that takes way longer than 15 seconds to film. <laughs> who's like wow that took like a lot longer than I anticipated yeah yeah it's crazy so I'll have you know time blocking is your best friend when it comes for any social media planning what the heck is time blocking glad you asked you guys so time blocking is basically you pick a chunk of time it could be a half an hour it could be one hour it could be two hours it depends on your day this is you spending your first 40 percent of your business time on your personal production, your personal business, your personal potentials and what have you. Some days you're gonna schedule this time around filming reels, maybe taking pictures for your Instagram, maybe typing up captions for your posts, maybe typing up ideas for your stories, um, whatever the case may be, okay? For me yesterday, I spent probably like, no joke, it probably took me two hours to film some reels that I'm gonna release slowly throughout the week, okay? I'm flying out to California tomorrow. And so I'm going to have a really, really busy week full of family. I'm going to get to meet up with some of my Sacramento local team, whoop, whoop. Um, but there's going to be, it's going to be super busy. So I knew I needed to block out some time to get some content ready for this upcoming week. So that way I'm still showing up consistently on my social media. So now what you'll do is you will set whatever, whatever you need to set how much ever time that you have genuinely, like if you only work your business an hour a day, pick a period of time that you are able to set aside. If you can only film one reel that day and you can't even edit it or post it or anything, totally fine. Put it in the bank. So how you do that, for those of you who don't know, again, you swipe over as if you're filming a story. Okay. You swipe over to reels. You'll see, you'll notice the icon. I'm like, it's so hard to see what I'm doing. You'll notice the icon's different. It looks like more of like one of those movie things. And you're going to film your reel. And you're going to have your audio on it. Like, what am I? Here's an audio for you guys. Let's just find a random one. Good morning. Here we go. Good morning. I just want to say that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the audio is I save. I'm like, Kim, I need to be saving the, the actual reels because I have no idea what I saved that for. But anyway, so you're going to film it. What you can do, okay, as far as making reels, there's a ton, you can YouTube it. You can YouTube how to make reels. You can Google how to make reels. You can follow different accounts that can teach you how to make super duper cool reels, okay? And if you have questions about any accounts like you want to know, ask in our team chat. And I bet you there's like at least five people on this call alone that follow people who can teach you about reels, okay? So then you move forward. This is just for like your batch content. See, here it is. Me and my freaking gloriousness, okay? You're gonna go to share two. See under here, under share, it says save as draft. Save as draft, okay? Now you'll go to your profile. Here's my profile. I just recently updated it. Looking so profesh, guys. Whoa, who do I think I am? Um, and you go here. It's usually on your grid. You go there to reels. Scroll down, see how there's a drafts here. Then you have a bunch of drafts. Whoa, sneak peek. You guys will see some of this next week. Um, so sneak peek, you'll find your draft. This is where you can edit. You'll go up to edit up here at the top. Okay, you're going to put your caption in here. Another thing I recommend just because I'm aesthetic as heck, when you go to share something, so you can see here. So like you can go back to edit like, oh, I want to add another clip like Wow, this is like really hard to do, you guys. Oh man, I wanna add another clip, okay? You'll go up here to the camera. I mean, you can do, you can explore this. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get super in depth and all crazy. Basically, when you go to share two, see how it says on your picture cover? Do you think I want this on my grid looking like this? Do you think this is a good first impression when people get to my page? The answer is no. <laughs> Does it match my vibe, my very professional vibe nowadays? No. 
So if you look, you can hit that button, like you can hit your image, it says cover, okay? This is where you can go get crazy. Yeah, girl, let me show you what up. Let me show you what it is though. See these, these are reels, those two right there. But notice it's not the video that actually is happening. So the reel I posted this morning, that's the reel I posted. As it's not, that, that cover is not from that. I went back and I put it so that it would match my aesthetic. Catch my drift here. So what I use, I use Canva. That's what I personally use. I take the pictures through like that picture. I took that picture through Lightroom. I used my preset because presets are the secret to making your first impression on Instagram look good, right? Freaking Kim knows what I'm talking about. Hers is like fabulous all the time. It looks so good. Um, then you have here, this is my new preset. This is my new situation. Okay, my new vibe that I'm going for. That's kind of like what you want to do. So that's my recommendation to you because ultimately when people get on here, they don't read your captions. They literally don't care. They just are looking what the first impression is of your page. They want to know if it's like something cool. Now, mine's a little crazy. That's why we change in it. Okay. We changing it. But anyways, people want to know what they're, what they're going to expect when they get on your page. Okay. Um, so what we'll do here. So just showing you, if you look in my drafts, yes, I have all of these are ones that I'm going to release. Okay. I have a bunch of different reels. You are welcome to steal my reels and like literally recreate them for you. So I literally, like, I don't, no one cares. Take everyone's reels, do them all. Literally, I'm like just waiting a couple more days before I steal Mallory, who's on like Katie Williams team. I love Paramore and she did a song of Paramore's and it was like super cute. And it was like women empowerment and stuff. They're like, ain't it fun? Ain't it fun? Now you're one of us, you know what I'm talking about? So I was like, man, I'm totally going to do that crap. Like I'm hundred percent going to steal that idea and I'm going to let her know about it. Okay. But anyways, do whatever you want. Okay. Have fun with it. So now that you have those three real ideas, you guys are welcome. We're going to spend actually 10 minutes starting to film a reel. We're starting it. Please do not expect to start and finish filming your reel right now. This is basically going to be your first 30 outtakes because it takes at least 30 outtakes <laughs> to get your reel down pat. You can totally turn your camera off and do this so you don't feel awkward about it, but I'm going to mute myself. And you can go ahead and use those audios you saved, or you can start working on your list, whatever you need to do to start getting in action, to start filming those reels and getting them closer to being posted. That's what we're doing. 10 minutes. What is the point of a reel? Um, getting people on your page, honestly. Like I was telling them, I did that dumb, you guys, I'm going to show you how dumb this is. If you didn't already see it, it's probably going to be so annoying if you've already seen it. Here's a reel. I got 794,000 views. 794,000 views on. The end. I don't know. It went viral. I got a ton of followers from that. I got a ton of conversations started. I had a ton of people literally copy my reel and then like literally tag me in it. So I was able to be like, oh, I'm so glad I'm not alone. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just going to talk to you about it. Like, cool. I'm like super flattered that like, you know, thinking of me. So that's what the point of reels are really. When you log on, it's either something that will pop up on the people you follow. Like there's a reel, there's Aaron's. I, <laughs> Aaron is really good at reels. Or if you go here, I love watching reels. You just go to this middle button and it's like TikTok. It's like nothing but reels. I love this couple. Hey, hey, hey. I'm really into dancing reels. I wish I could dance, so. Okay. So we're going to start filming them. Okay. We feel good about that. If you have questions, unmute yourself. Ask me, okay? I'm going to mute myself. I'm so sorry. I have to unmute myself. If you, if you don't follow Erin, okay. Her name's Erin E. DeCure. 
she just posted this reel and I'm crying laughing. It's so good. And if you haven't seen the original video that goes with that sound clip, it's unbelievable. Anyways, go watch that. That's great inspiration because it's about the business and it's hilarious. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Do we need a few more minutes? Yeah. 
how to save reels, MJ. You can go, so here's a reel. If you go on the right side on the bottom, there's three dots. Can you see them? Right above the little house. You'll click on the three dots and you can save it. And do you guys know how to find the posts and the reels and things that you've saved? That's what I was about to say. I'm like, okay, where's it go? <laughs> <laughs> so go to your profile, the top right three lines. Okay. You'll go to saved. I appreciate you. I'm sorry. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. 100% fine. This is also, I have a bunch of different folders. So I have ones all about my, the things that I post a lot about. So I have one about, I have a folder about faith. I have a folder specifically to reshare on my story. I have a folder for ideas for like my posts. I have a folder about like funnies because I like to share laughs, um, personal stuff. I have a folder even for like tips on Instagram reels and like Instagram in general. Um, so you have like, you can have as many folders as you want and it keeps you really organized. You also get a folder for audios that you can go into and save the audios to do your reels as well. Okay. I know there's some cameras off still. Okay, how do we feel? Do we want another couple minutes to kind of work on our reels? We have time, so I can give you guys another like three to five minutes. Okay, we'll just do that. I'm gonna mute myself again. If you have questions, drop them in the chat box. I let my in-laws dog out and I have to go find him now. So <laughs> hopefully he didn't get swooped up by Hawk. You know what I'm saying? Be right back. <laughs>
All right, home skillets. Terry has never been on reels. Welcome. Do your best to set an alarm in your phone when you are looking through reels. You can get totally flipping lost, man. There's so much talent on reels too. If you're somebody who's like a really talented singer or a really talented dancer or something like that, get crazy. Get crazy on there. Um, if you're someone who's like a really good cook, you making things, if you're like somebody who makes jewelry or bracelets or knits or anything like that, there's so many different things. Um, and the more that you engage with different reels, the more like reels up your alley that Instagram will show you. So um, first of all, before I move into connection, do you guys have any questions about reels? Feel free to unmute yourself or drop it in the chat. Yeah, Chels, seriously, it'd be really good. How many also, reels are you doing? Like uh, how often should we be posting reels on our page? Totally up to you. For me, I am just now kind of doing time blocking with reels specifically because they are extremely lucrative for getting people's eyes on your page. So I'm probably going to do every three posts, I'm going to do one. So I'm going to do a reel, a picture, and like I'm doing like my my tweets. I don't know if you guys saw that on my page. Like, so like, this is the, the basic concept of what I'm moving into now. I have like a tweet, like a quote, that's something that's shareable. People will see the quote. If it resonates with them, they'll share it in their stories. They'll share it on their page, like whatever the case may be. And that will get their network looking at my page. So that's something that I'm working on. I do something like it's probably going to be a personal post or something like that to help people love me, which sounds super weird, but give them a glimpse inside scoop on my life kind of a thing. And then I'm going to do reels. Um, so I'm going to do that kind of layout. So I'm going to be doing a reel every three, every, I third guess every post. third post. Yeah. Every third post. Okay. And you're not posting about the business on your personal post. It's just your life to make people love you. It could go either way. There will probably be more business posts and there will be, there will be personal, um, in the Instagram training that Erin did. I loved that she did the three G's. There was like grow, give and genuine grow is like the tweet, the Twitter post. Basically it's something that will grow your account. Something that will be shareable. The genuine is something like that makes people fall in love with you. They get to know you, they get to trust you and like you and sales move at the speed of trust. And then you have the one that is, um, a give, so you're giving free content. So for me, I'm going to give whatever I can for free about how to be successful, um, in entrepreneurship or in business or in network marketing or what have you. That's what I'm doing. And honestly, you guys, I can't say that it's working great yet. Cause I'm just starting. We're all throwing poop at the wall and seeing what sticks. So play around with it. I did, as you can see, if you look at mine, so that's like what my layout's going to look like now. But if you just scroll down, how I was doing it, I, you can tell it was all discombobulated. I was trying so many different things. I'm kind of moving out of my dad joke phase. I know guys, I know it's a sad time, but they just no one really wanted jokes anymore. And now that I've established myself more with credibility as like a business person, people are more interested in like my motivation or what have you. And so I'm kind of moving into that. So I tried out the tweets, like the tweet posts and they got a great, great response. Like they got shared a lot. Um, I just kind of threw a bunch of poop at the wall and saw what was stuck. If you don't, when it comes to tweets, Casey, are you active on Twitter? Like, do you have followers and stuff over there? Or are you just making the tweet and then I it to Instagram? I am going to actually start, I'm doing like one thing at a time. I'm going to try LinkedIn first, then I'm going to move probably into Twitter. And then I'm probably moving to Pinterest. Like I'm going to try different platforms, but right now my Twitter is literally, I have no, I have nothing going on there. It's literally just for, if you look at it, like, I hope nobody follows me <laughs> because it's literally just any kind of idea that I've had. And a lot of them are like duplicates with like a little bit of different verbiage. Like, it's just me. I'm just posting them just to have to, oh, and then Mandy started following me and liked some. <laughs> I better, I better clean that up before people start finding me and following me. So I'm right now, I'm just doing it just to have the screenshot that I can turn into a post basically. Um, but Terry, I have no idea yet. I haven't really even started with LinkedIn yet, but there's, um, shoot, I can't remember the name. There are a couple Instagram accounts that teach you how to grow your business on LinkedIn on Insta like they're on Instagram, but they'll teach you about LinkedIn. 
Um, you could probably like search them through hashtags on Instagram and follow their accounts. I haven't dove in yet, but I plan to dive in and utilize that platform because those people, you know, they're there to network for business and I want business people. So that's why I'm going to take advantage of LinkedIn. Any other questions about reels, how to create them, ideas, how to post them, save them? So they can basically just be these stupid videos like of you just like being stupid. And then the point is, is it's bringing people to your page so that they'll see other things than your reels. Like the point of the reel is not to uh, get some sort of message across, it's to get people to engage with you. Yep. It's to get followers. It's to get eyes on your profile. That's why it's important that you have something like aesthetic. So when their first impression, people just want to see if it's aesthetic to see if they want to follow you. So when my reel went viral, I did not handle it. I don't think I capitalized on it as much as I could have, but it was a very dumb reel, very stupid reel, but I got so many viewers. I got so many followers. I got so many, I got tagged in so much, like so many things. Um, I didn't know what to do with that though. So just make sure this looks aesthetic and you're providing solid content, free content for people, stuff like that. And they'll stick around or I'm going to go into connection with those people too, in just a second. Um, but reels, the whole point is just do something that catches people's attention and, and makes them want to check out the rest of your page. You know what I'm saying? Like literally some of mine are so stupid. This one I did, I'm going to be posting it this week sometime. It's going to be like me vibing at my last job. And then it's me vibing at my new job. Like, look at me, I'm crumping. I don't know how to crump. It's so stupid. I put sunglasses and a beanie on. Just is what it is, man. So you just have fun. Honestly, I love reels because I like to have fun. I like to make fun of myself. I like to make fun of other people. Sorry, Jesus, I'm sorry. Um, but I love to just have fun with it. Make people laugh. I like videos that make me laugh. And so I just want to create that for other people. So I'm trying to make, but how do you organize what you are going to post in the future? Um, I don't really organize it, Kayleen, to answer your question for the most part. I honestly am just kind of saving things to my drafts and I'm just posting them later. I don't really have anything. I'm trying to get more streamlined with it. Like I'm trying to pick one week. I focus on one thing. So like one week I might focus on, um, like motivational or moving past discouragement or something like that. I might make that like my theme of the week, but I'm still going to kind of follow like the genuine, the grow and the give posts, if that makes sense. So one of my reels will be about that. Now it could be silly about that. It could be super serious about that. It could be whatever. Um, and then my genuine post about like my inside scoop of my life will be like why I have credibility on teaching people how to move forward past discouragement um, maybe talking about like a trial I had been through and then how I moved past it. Um, my give post might be like three tips on how to move past discouragement or three check-ins you can give yourself, like something like that. It's just kind of what's coming off the top of my head. Like you, I just pick like a theme, but for the most part, I try to just film as many reels because you guys, we should be having fun. And so for me, my personality, it's fun to do reels. So that part is fun for me. So I just want to make a whole bunch of reels at once and I can sort them out later. Honestly, I can figure that out later. Just as long as I have a lot in my bank that when I'm sitting at nighttime, it's horrible lighting. I haven't worn makeup all day or showered in two days. I have a reel that I can post that's aesthetic or will catch people's attention or what have you. Um, but I'm still kind of figuring that out myself. I'm not like a master with reels. I just want you guys to start getting your feet wet with reels, honestly, because I'm just getting my feet wet and it is like a crazy response. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So just work on finishing them, honestly, like finish those posts or, um, save them to your drafts. Honestly, your drafts on there. Um, you're going to want to, I don't know. It's going to be kind of a troubleshoot type thing, but ultimately try and finish those posts and then just pick a day to get them up. And honestly, don't get analysis paralysis. You guys don't be concerned about what time you're posting them or you haven't posted in three days. Now you should probably wait another day because that's your biggest day of engagement or don't overthink it. Action trumps the details and specifics every time. So just get in action, just post them, just finish them and post them. Yeah. MJ mentioned Planoly. Planoly is a cool app. Um, I haven't used it actually since starting Q. I tried to in the beginning. I just don't do that anymore. I will tell you as far as apps, don't schedule 
through a third-party app, don't schedule posting things. The reason for that is, is because Instagram knows and they don't like it because they don't want you to spend the whole idea. They're a business. They don't want you to spend any other time on any other app. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. They want you to spend all your time on Instagram. And so you get rewarded that way. Okay. The three G's are genuine, grow, and give. And if you need me to send you that um, training that Aaron did, it's really, really good stuff and very simple. So I can send that to you. I do use hashtags as well. Um, I purchased them from Katie Williams. Actually, she has them like you can get them for really cheap because I think it's like Q team is the discount code and it gets you like 50% off or whatever. So I purchased it. It's basically, it's just because I don't want to sit down and think of 30 freaking hashtags. You know what I'm saying? So it's a hashtag bank and you just basically pick whatever theme you're posting about. And then you just copy and paste all the hashtags. Oh. And then you just copy and paste all the hashtags that she gives you there. Um, what I did this morning actually with my reel I posted is I took one. There's like a section that's called like business and income or something like that. I copy and pasted that into my notes app. And then the hashtags that I didn't, I don't, me personally, I don't like boss babe or work from home mom or anything like that, because I don't want to attract that group of people anymore. I did that at my previous company and it got me people who should have been customers rather than workers. My personal thing, I'm looking for like big deal people. Um, and also too, I am making money where I feel like money kind of speaks to certain, a different demographic of people. So I'm also just trying to like capitalize on that. Um, and so what I did was I just put it in my notes app and then there was like four or five different hashtags I didn't want to use. And I went and I stocked entrepreneur magazine page and I stocked some of their people and I saw the hashtags they're using. And so that's like a lot. I feel like that's like super in depth. I just get really creative on figuring out how I can get my target market and so I do use hashtags like that. I'm very like methodical. I look at the people I want on my team and I look at the hashtags they are using or the hashtags that they're following, the people they're following. I'm using the hashtags they're using is basically what my, my idea is. Um, again, I can't speak that that's working super well because I just don't know yet. I've just started implementing all of this stuff. It's all pretty new, um, but I'm doing it because it's working for other people. So why wouldn't it work for me? <laughs> you know? You have like an Instagram coach or something. No, I'm winging no. it. Okay. I have, um, I will tell you, I started listening to this podcast. You guys, if you're not following it, it's called this, oh, uh, the six figure influencer. And you can follow her on Instagram too. Her name's Allie Reeves on Instagram. I think it's like at Allie E Reeves or Allie I Reeves, I think. And so I was listening to one yesterday and she did like 45 minutes of, and everywhere for me is a drive of 30, at least 30 minutes. So she did like 45 minutes talking about random Instagram tips. She built like a multiple six figure business on Instagram. And I think she's been in network marketing before too. So I just started implementing some of her stuff. I'm just constantly trying to learn. I just listen to podcasts about it or follow pages about it and stuff. And then... Oh, okay. I just heard Jay come out of his room. Zach was laying down with him to help him fall asleep. And all I hear are little people footprints. And I was like, Zach's probably falling asleep. And Jay is probably awake about to run this house. <laughs> but it sounds like they're both up. Okay, perfect. Carolyn just posted a reel, you guys. So we can go and boost that. You can like it, save it, comment on it, you guys. I'm glad you did it. Okay, and I'll send you that. Oh, Kim sent the training. Okay, sorry, I'm catching up. Okay, it's Allie honestly she'll pop up like first thing you can tell her Instagram is very like professional looking you'll be able to tell who it is okay so now we're almost out of time so I'm just going to spend I'm going to kind of like real quickly wrap this up as far as what connection looks like with people there's so many ways you can do this and honestly I suggest you just throw a bunch of poop at the wall and see what sticks <laughs> so when you get new followers from a reel or you get people commenting on your reel that aren't following you or you don't follow or whatever, like new people, the best thing to do is honestly just go and engage with their page. 
go react to their stories is my number one go-to. I immediately go and I react to their stories. Something that I genuinely am interested in about. If they posted that they put goat cheese, I talk about goat cheese all the time because I really love it. They put goat cheese on their breakfast toast in the morning. You best believe I'm going to react to that with the heart eye emoji. And I'm probably going to comment in response to it and be like, dude, goat cheese is life. Okay. Go act about something you genuinely care about. If they're sharing about like, oh, I um, made beef stroganoff today. It was so cool. And you're like, man, I hate beef stroganoff. Also, I don't care about food or like recipes or like people who cook, like they just honestly bore me, but yawn, then don't say, oh my gosh, beef stroganoff is life. <laughs> you want to develop that genuine connection with people. Um, if you notice that somebody like you're presenting yourself in a certain way, let's say you're presenting yourself as, um, um, a creative on Instagram. Okay. You're a creative professional or something like that. Okay. And you notice there's somebody else who presents himself as a creative professional on Instagram and they like something or they comment on something or they follow you or whatever, go meet them on that platform, because that's what you're going to be posting about anyways. It kind of gives them a glimpse into the fact that they know what to expect when they go to your page. Like you're engaging with them. You're like, oh my gosh, I also love painting with watercolors. I don't know, guys. Um, I love painting with watercolors. And they can be like, oh my gosh, no way. They know they can go to your page and see paintings that you've done in watercolor. You kind of catch my drift there. So going and engaging with people, ultimately this is, should be how you engage with everybody anyways. Some other things you can do if you get a reel that goes viral congratulations. If I could go back in time and do it right, I would go and I would genuinely have already planned out like my Instagram posts, my story posts. I would have made sure that I had, I was already actively streamlining the first impression. So I might've gotten more follows. Um, whatever goes viral, you may want to kind of stay in that lane for a minute. So for me with folding nonsense sheets, I should have come up with other super dumb, hilarious paired with awesome salsa music or whatever that was, um, life hack, daily chores, whatever. And so sticking kind of in that lane for a second, see how long you can write it out. You know what I'm saying? Because ultimately there's this chick, I followed her because of a reel, her husband's scaring her and her faces. I don't know. Maybe you guys follow her too. Cause she's gone like super viral. It cracks me the flip up. You guys, I'm a very visual person. So I just have to share with people. So I followed her because of like, I don't even know which one it was, but this is her. <sighs> she gets scared so easy. So I followed her because her husband just walks around and scares her and her faces when she gets scared are like, like that's her genuine reaction. I'm like, that's freaking quality content. That's all I want to watch all day. That's hilarious. Then she also pees herself and it's hilarious. She grabs her crotch. She's like, huh? <laughs> it's hilarious. I die laughing. So I followed her and I even messaged her and I said, listen, just like probably thousands of others, I'm following you because your husband scares you and you look ridiculous when you get scared. And I love it. And she was like, dude, join the club, like blah, blah, blah. And she posts a lot of videos similar to that. Now it's probably going to run its course. She's going to have to come up with something else that she posts. So people stay engaged. Cause at this point I don't watch them anymore, but she still, I knew I could go to her page. I thought it was so funny. It lit up my day. I knew if I needed like a funny laugh or a belly laugh or something like that, I could go to Shanity Fair's page and I could find more videos similar to that. And it would make me laugh. So also kind of being able to provide stuff like that is going to be helpful too. If you have a reel that goes viral, but ultimately connection is huge. You're going to get followers from anything. It could just be, maybe you do a Twitter post, right? And all of a sudden you have a ton of people sharing it. It goes crazy loco viral. Awesome. We should just be connecting with people. We should just be connecting with our new followers. Now I asked Katie Williams specifically on what she does. She says, honestly, I just focus on providing good content. Something that's aesthetic that people like to watch. She does confession Wednesdays every Wednesday. So people can literally anonymously, anonymously share confessions. And if you haven't watched those, it's insane what some people confess to. I'm like, oh, I slept with my boss again. I'm like, why are you telling her? That you don't, she can see your name. Do you know she can see your name? Like, like it's crazy. Some of this stuff is so insane, but that's the kind of, yeah, again, exactly. But that's the kind of stuff that she shares and people love to talk about themselves, right? So they know every Wednesday they have an opportunity to get something off their chest and talk about themselves and shock people 
and blah, blah, blah. But then they also know they can go to her page and get some sort of like aesthetically pleasing content or something encouraging, blah, blah, blah. Um, And so she just focuses on that. And so that might work. However, she does have over 70,000 followers. So I feel like people are just going to follow her because they're like, oh, she's a big deal. Okay. I need to follow her. You know what I mean? So my focus is I try to give people stuff away for free. Um, whatever I have that people may not like any innate ability, God given gift I was born with, or something that I studied in school, something that, um, I have a lot of practice in just because I had to in life, like whatever the case may be, I try to provide that. I also love to provide laughs. Cause if you can get people laughing, you can keep them listening is one thing that I like live by because I will lose my attention span very quickly. Unless you make me laugh, just being completely honest squirrel. You know what I'm saying? Butterfly. I don't know. Um, so yeah, there's that pretty much just engage with them. But again, throw poop at the wall. Sometimes I'll send when I get a new follower, I'll message them and I'll send them a video. (gasps) What? Yes. I just basically film myself 15 seconds, no more than 15 seconds. And I say something like, thanks so much for the follow. It means the world. I'm Casey. I'm a wife, a mom. We just moved from California to Tennessee. Um, I love Jesus and I don't, I haven't made one in a long time. Like I'll say like, I love Jesus and fitness or whatever. Um, and so they know what to expect when they come on my page and say, I'm super excited to get to know you better, whatever. If you have time, go look at their page and be like, dude, I love that. You also love dad jokes. I love that. You also love coffee or whatever. And then just send that to them. And honestly, when people get videos, it's so like flabbergasting. Yeah. Also, I love goat cheese. (laughs) I love Jesus and I love goat cheese. Let's be friends. (laughs) Actually, I bet you I could find a lot of people who feel the exact same way. You either love it or hate it. She's all, yep, me right here. Um, Yeah, exactly. So being able to share with people like something like that, like a video is so much more impactful than just like a, a voice clip or a message, like a text message or something. So try that on for size. And then your next couple followers, try a voice clip. Then your next couple followers, try text, just see what kind of works. Um, but always be focusing on getting reels out there. Always be focusing. Cause the more you do, the more rewarded you get, the more views they'll get as you're like consistently posting reels. Your first few may not get any, but as you're posting them more regularly, then you'll probably start getting more views. Cause that's how Instagram rewards us. If they automatically, the algorithm rewards us for spending time on Instagram. It doesn't mean we need to waste our lives doing Instagram just as long as you're like consistently clocking in. Okay. That is it. You guys, I know we started a little bit late, but I don't want to go like super over. I want to be respectful of your time. Do you guys have any questions? Awesome sauce. All right, guys. So today, do you guys want some homework? Want a homework? Want homework? Yeah. Okay. One of two options. Okay. You can either do, let's do like a, we could even make it fun and do like 30 reels in 30 days if you want to. So you could either just post a reel today. Okay. And we could just see how it goes. Let us know in the Q Mafia chat when you post it so we can go boost it. Okay. Or you can take a chunk of time, half an hour, an hour, however long you want and film as many reels as possible. And then promise me to post them like every couple of days, every other day, every couple of days. How do you feel about that? Drop in the comments or hold up on your fingers. If you're going to do number one, post one today or number two, get a bunch filmed and plan on posting consistently all week. Okay. I see two. I see one, one, one. Dude, I love it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. When you guys drop your first reels, Drop it in the Q Mafia chat. I'm serious. We'll go ahead. We got a lot of twos too. I love it. Go ahead and drop it in the Q Mafia chat so we can go boost it. If you are not a part of the Q Mafia um, boost chat, um, drop it in there too. Get crazy. Make everybody go boost it. Be like, go love on my reel, you guys. I feel ridiculous. I tried to do this voiceover thing and it wasn't synced up. And also I had broccoli in my teeth. So go give it some love. Okay. <laughs> Literally the, the reel that went viral, I hadn't showered in three days. I had no makeup on. It looked like I was wearing no pants because I was wearing my sleep pants. My husband was like, oh, have you ever seen with that, that audio clip, like people folding fitted sheets? And I was like, no, let's make it. We just stood up right then and there and I made it. And all of a sudden, almost a million people saw it. And I was like, I wish I had known because I probably would have at least tried to look a little better. 
like maybe put dry shampoo in my hair for once. Like who knows? Anyways, whatever. But high school son, should I do it? Yeah, absolutely. Terry, if you are literally all about sports, do it. 110%. Um, there's so many good sport reels. I mean, you can get super fun with it. You could have your son do some cool things. If like whatever sports he does, if he does basketball, some super cool, like trick shot, if he does soccer, like if he can do anything cool while dribbling the ball, I know nothing about soccer. Forgive me. I think it's dribbling. I think it's called dribbling and soccer. Um, things like that, like just have him do that and just pair it with like really cool music and sync it up to like something cool and just get creative. Go look on reels and take a look. Oh, baseball. What up? What's who's your team? Who's your team? I don't want to make enemies here, Terry, but I don't know where you live either. Oh, Orioles. Okay. Well, okay. All right. Okay. We can be friends. That's fine. That's fine. I'm a Dodgers fan. So, and if you're a Giants fan, don't tell me, but I love you so much, but don't tell me. Okay. You're from, okay. That makes sense. I'm from California, but I'm also from giants territory, but it's all about the Dodgers up in my house straight up. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you so much, MJ. Yes. You guys, I am leaving for California tomorrow. Um, I'll be in and out. We still have the Katie Williams, uh, training. We have a ton of op calls available. We have a ton of different things coming up you guys. So, um, I'm still going to be tap, 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 tap in, you know what I'm saying? It's a real audio. It's also a song, but you know, um, I'll still be in, but also too, I don't know what to expect. We've got like family emergency stuff going on. So, um, I don't really know what that's going to look like schedule wise. So be patient with me, have some grace, but utilize each other because y'all are like the best hype team I've ever seen. I love working with you guys and I love to see you guys lift each other up. So take advantage, use each other's resources as appropriate. Um, and I'll be in as I can. And you'll see me randomly posting reels that I filmed yesterday. Okay. <laughs> awesome. You guys, thank you so much for hopping on, spending time with me. Um, I hope this was helpful. Let's go make a reel, post a reel today or make a bunch of reels today and post them this week and then keep me posted so I can boost them. You guys have a glorious Tuesday.